I'll hold the line. Corpses. Was that the blood burn? Will do. Acknowledged. Tahar. Anselm, what happened? Where's the general? Up north. He left us in charge. What about the outpost? Is it safe? Since you just strolled in here, I suppose the elves have somehow surrendered. They have. Look, Anselm, I need to talk to the general. There's something about the bloodworm we didn't... Save your breath for later, Corporal. This place is getting purged. Purged? You mean... Yes, it's tragic, but there's no other choice. The general said it was the plan all along. Until we know how this plague spreads, we cannot allow any of these people to leave. Not alive. But the General doesn't have the information we have. He should know before we do anything. It would take an hour to catch up by now, and even if you were to tell him, he seemed pretty set on this. Which I understand. It's all of Nortanda we're gambling with. Maybe all of Eo. So you knew this is what we're here for? Why did he tell you and not us? He didn't. I only just learned it myself. This is insane. Look at these people, Anselm. We can't just kill them. What do you want me to do, Tahar? Fall on my knees and cry? It's an order, and we are soldiers. It's as simple as that. Forget it. I'm not killing these people, and you won't either. And that's what I wanted to hear. One last thing before we kill you, betrayer. Do you remember her face? Whose face? What in the blazes are you talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? Well, that's a damn good question. Eight years ago in Iskander, when your father tried to execute you and the wolf guard stopped him, it was my sister who paid the price for it. Isamo Tahar. He burned her alive. He blasted the skin from her skull. And all just because of you! All because of the fucking betrayer's child! But no, that wasn't enough. Instead of killing you like he should have, General Noria took you in. Trained you as if you were something special. Wolfguard, he might as well have spit on my sister's grave. Anselm, this isn't fair. This isn't fair and you... Fair? Fuck fair! She died, damn it, she died! Only so this piece of shit could live! <sighs> Good thing is, you refused a direct order, so we don't even need to cover this up. Now let's get this over with. No, Anselm, you can't do this! Watch me. Hmm? Help me, somebody! They killed one of our heroes. Stay calm, Bertrand. This wasn't our fault. We just have to... Tahar, there's news from the jet... Tiara's breath? What... What happened here? We, we, we can explain. They... Stay where you are. Slaughtering your own brethren. I can't believe it, Tahar. I should have guessed. Drop that weapon now. And you too, Carpal. Unless you want to save the hangman some work. Hangman? What do you think? You're charged with high treason. Betrayed by the betrayer's child. The general will love to hear this.
I told you this would happen, Angar. I told you. I just can't believe this is all you have to say in your defense to her. Anselm and his friends attacked us. Do you need me to write it down for you? Watch your tongue, Tahar. General, you are a soldier of the Queen, Tahar. And for the past eight years, you have served us well. Not only that, you even went as far as to refuse obedience to your father. Because you knew what he did was wrong. I respect that. But killing five of your brethren in cold blood and refusing a royal order... I cannot let that go unpunished. But this is ridiculous! The general was wrong, for heck's sake! The blood burn is not contagious! What should we have done? Slaughter an entire village? Blazes, are you that ignorant or just plain stupid, Carpal? These elves would have told you anything. They were the ones who betrayed our treaty in the first place. But I'm done explaining myself. This is a waste of time. You're a murderer, Tahar. I should have seen that right away, but I didn't. And the same goes for you, Carpal. You're a disgrace to the Wolf Guard. <sighs> Tell me one thing, Tahar. Do you have any regrets? I do. They were my brethren. <sighs> Corporal Tahar. Corporal Carpal. You are hereby found guilty of murdering five soldiers of the Royal Army and insubordination. The punishment is death by the string. Take them to the dungeons. That's it. Pardon? Since you've been sitting here, I've been wondering why your face looks so bloody familiar. Now I remember. I saw you in the courtyard, back when they took me to my... How did they call it? Trial? You're one of them, aren't you? If I was one of them, would I be sitting here? Were one of them. Sorry. I'm guessing I should be mad at you, shouldn't I? For serving these idiots. But... As it seems, we're sitting in the same dirt, so... Sod it. I'm Iria. Iria of Finn on Mir. What's your name? Just call me Tahar. Tahar? As in... Isamo Tahar? He was my father, yes, but I fought him in the Mage Wars. Huh. None of my business, I suppose. So, tell me, Tahar, what brings you to this wonderful place? Came to enjoy some nice hours of sitting in rat crap and hearing those zealots torture the living shit out of our kind? I hate to disappoint, but it gets boring after a while. Our kind? I didn't know I was an elf. <laughs> no, but you're gifted, same as I. Or a defiler, as people prefer to say nowadays. Ah, uh, right. You're a mage. I am. I think you know what I'm here for. I'm sentenced to die in the pike, just as you are. Oh, I see. How come? If I'm not mistaken, you're Wolfguard, aren't you? And aren't you guys supposed to be some kind of... elite? I was a corporal and refused an order. Oh? What kind of order? Long story. In short, our general ordered us to slaughter an entire village, Leonon. He wanted to prevent a plague called the Bloodburn from spreading, but... How should I say? Was missing some crucial information. Which was? The blood burn isn't contagious. <sighs> Blazes. Sometimes I wonder what's wrong with this world. I got ambushed. Soldiers of House Leoniter, as they called themselves. I was trying to reason with them, but they wouldn't listen. I knew I shouldn't have done it, you know? <laughs> Use my magic. But in that moment, I was just so bloody scared. What did you do? I only remember fragments. Two of them lunged at me. I grabbed their arms and let my light magic run free. It was over in less than a minute. I... I didn't even know I could do that. Light magic can kill? It can drain, yes. It's not what it's made for, but nonetheless deadly. And I take it you got caught? 
No, not at first. But I'd rather not talk about it. They're going to kill us. And, you know, there is still a part in me that thinks this is all a bad dream. Are you... Are you afraid? I try not to think about it. So do I. Thing is, it doesn't work. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I haven't given up yet. We need to find a way out, and we need to do it quick. We're in a prison. How did you guess? Doesn't change the fact that we need to get out. I've searched every part of my cell, and there's absolutely nothing. But yours is a lot bigger. Go see if you can find anything. Like what? A magical key? No, a fragile bar in the wall. Something that can help us pick a lock. Whatever. Or maybe start by taking a look at that breakthrough in the wall behind you. Hmm? Hmm. Interesting. Iria, I found something here. It looks like a piece of thread. Great! One of the prisoners must have left it. See if you can find a nail or something like that. That way we could make a lockpick. A lockpick? What do you think this is? A child's cane? We are in the Great Keep prison. Even if you had Zerbo's keys, you wouldn't get that door open. Just ignore him. What's that? What are you looking at? I don't know. Some sort of grate. There's something stuck down there. Looks like a piece of metal. Are you serious? Get it! I'm trying, but... Oh, shit! Ah. Oh, brains. Are you alright? I... I think so. What was that? A tunnel spider. Just yesterday, one of the prisoners got bitten. Shit. But you killed it. And I have that nail. Right, the nail. You still have the thread, right? Now put it... All right, scum. Time to wake up. Defilers? Those two. Isn't that... The betrayer's child. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. I'm Rondar Lacan, the harbinger of light. And you are here because you've sinned. I don't know how, and it doesn't matter. But the light has found you guilty. I... Mercy! Please, sir! I have children! A wife! I... Quiet, scum! Don't. He's afraid. And he should be. So, I'm here for a simple reason. You, the Defilers, are beyond repentance. But you three? You may not be. If you admit your sins now, and accept the light into your life, you may be given a second chance. You may be born again. As servants of Aeonair, the choice is yours. Child? I don't think he can hear you, Your Holiness. Why? I believe my instructions were clear. If they are not defilers, they are not to die. Until they have been given a chance. I, I know, Your Holiness. But he was already weak when the soldiers brought him here. He, he must have had some untended wounds. Hmm. I see. Well, may the light have mercy on your soul, child. I repent! Please, your holiness, I repent! You do? Yes! Then confess. I... Confess that you have done wrong. Confess that you are corrupted. Confess that your life is and was always empty without the love of the All-Father. And confess that it is only this love that can lead you back to the path of virtue. I... I confess that I accept the light as my salvation. Then rise and be born again. <sighs> Open the door, child, and take him away. I will join you in the courtyard. Are you certain, Your Holiness? I am. Leave. Of course. What a lunatic. 
What now? No idea. But as long as that priest fellow is here, we have no way to get out unseen. I... Wait. Do you hear that? You heard it, didn't you? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. The voice. That... Huh. That's interesting. You aren't making any sense. I... <sighs> the blood burn. What do you know about it? Only that it's some kind of magical plague. A magical plague? Yes, that's one way to put it. Where do I start? Six months ago, before the first occurrence of the blood burn, Aenir showed me a vision. It was beautiful, riveting. I woke up in a wide, empty desert. The sun was glaring, and the sand was almost burning. Yet I felt completely at ease. I began to walk, until I saw the walls of a beautiful, giant city, white as marble. Just cut to the chase. In that city I saw the All-Father, Aenir. It was humbling and exhilarating. You met Aenir? Yes. I don't think that you as a non-believer could possibly understand what it felt like. But what matters is that he spoke to me. He told me that the blood burn was imminent and how we can cure it. And why does Aenir care about the blood burn? Because he's preparing his return. What? I'm surprised you don't know. Aenir is preparing his return to Eo. That's the reason the Guardians have retreated. They have sunk back into their original slumber because they are not needed anymore. And once we, the Purity of Light, have prepared the world for his return, he will bring us a new world. One of equality, peace, and harmony. No more magic, no more castes, no more nobility. The blood burn is just one more trial we have to overcome. What makes you so sure it was a vision and not just some dream? I just know. As I said, I don't expect you to understand. If the Purity already knew that much about the blood burn's nature, why didn't you tell the Lord Marshal? General Noria slaughtered an entire village because he thought it was contagious. Which is also why I'm here. We did tell him. But you know the King Regent. He's not a man of faith. We needed proof. Something a godless man like him would understand. So, how can we cure it? Well, that's where you come in. I wasn't certain at first, but now I am. He told me that there's someone who will play a pivotal role in all this, whose blood is connected to the plague, and I would recognize him or her when the time comes. And you believe that's me? I do. Let me tell you a story. Three weeks ago, a small village was almost completely wiped out by the blood burn. I went there, together with six of my priests, to follow up on my vision. As you can imagine, it was atrocious. By the time we got there, most of the townsfolk were already dead. Save for one man, an elf, the village healer, witnessing that bloodbath. It had broken him. However, he was still able to tell us some very interesting things. Among them, that he believed the infection occurred right after he heard something that night. A song. The Song of the White, as we now call it. Hang on. You're saying that this singing we just heard actually causes the blood burn? Correct. And since, according to that elven healer, the words of the song resemble the Shaper tongue, we think that the blood burn might be connected to the Shapers. <laughs> Nonsense. Actually, he might be right. Lord Marshal Arendir told me something similar. Noises before an outbreak. Alright, now I'm lost. If this song causes the blood burn, why are you the first to make that connection? Because not everybody hears it. 
Only those who are magically gifted do, and this hearing also protects them from the disease itself. Both of you are. And that leads me to believe that you, Tahar, are the one Eir spoke of, the pariah, who will help us put an end to the bloodburn. So being a mage protects from the bloodburn. Having magic in you, that's a big difference. Using magic, giving in to the temptation, is a sin. Merely having the gift isn't. It's something that runs in your blood. But yes, being gifted seems to allow hearing the song and protects against the blood burn. The more here elves told me they were affected by the blood burn too. Don't all elves have a spark of magic in them? They do. And that's very interesting. That means that either we are wrong, or the elves are confusing something else with the blood burn. Hmm. Whatever you want me to do, if I am to help you, you'll free Iria as well. Of course. She may be a defiler, but her ability to hear the song makes her as valuable as you are. If this song forebodes the Bloodburn, does that mean that there will be an outbreak in Greykeep? Well, something else we learned about the Bloodburn is that it's unpredictable. There might be an outbreak, or there might not be. And it might be just a servant who dies, or the entire castle. So you're saying there's no pattern at all? Whether a song causes an outbreak or not is entirely coincidental? No, I did not say that. What I said is that we have not understood the pattern yet. There isn't much of a choice, is there? If we don't help you, we'll be executed. Yes. But even if your situation were different, helping us would be in your best interest. If we don't stop the blood burn, all of Eo will be affected, regardless of race or faith. And also, being chosen by Aeonir is a great honor, one some of my followers would kill for. I know. Now please get us out of here. Of course. There are some arrangements I have to make first. Give me a few moments. Two more things before you set out. First, you'll have to use the sewers to escape. There's an entrance in the tower cellar that leads through the mountains. Get out of the prison and go there as quick as possible. Once you are out of the fortress, leave the city and head to Farland's Hope. It's a small village to the northwest in Iskander. There you'll meet with a contact of ours, an expert on Shaper culture who will help us decipher the song. His name is Iskrim, and he's a dwarven scholar. We set him out on a mission to find Mulandir three weeks ago. Mulandir? The ancient city of the Shapers, yes. So you want us to help that dwarf find Mulandir, don't you? What for? Isn't it obvious? To find clues about the song. If I'm not mistaken, the Purity has quite some followers now. Why don't you just send your scions to help him find Mulandir? Good question. Simply put, there are certain people in the House of the Crown who are already uncomfortable with the Purity's military presence. Sending armed Purity followers around the country would only alarm them more. All right. Anything I should know about this Iskram? Nothing I haven't already told you. You will have plenty of time to acquaint yourselves. How do we find the Dwarf? Will he be in the village? It's possible, but I doubt it. Once you arrive there, you should talk to the village mayor, Clara Farlin. She works for the Purity, and will provide you with all the information you need. Just tell her you are sent by the Light. Sent by the Light. Fair enough. Anything else? There is. Here, take this. What is that? A what, what the heck? What, what was that? The rune. It imprinted itself on you. Imprinted? What is that thing? Hard to answer. To put it shortly, they are a gift of Aeonir to us as his servants. They protect us. If the bearer of such a rune loses his life, he will be revived by Aeonir's light. Did you just say... Revived, yes. 
You're joking, right? No magic on Eo can undo death. The magic you're talking about is the magic of a past era. These runes are the symbol of a power far older than anything these fumblers you call mages could ever dream of wielding. As I told you, Tahar, Aenir's light outshines all. He was the first in this world, and he will be the last. So, these things make us, what, immortal? Not immortal, no. But they provide you with a chance. Should you die and be brought back to life, the rune will lose a part of its power. Its energy will take you to one of Aenir's shrines, and there your body will be mended. Aenir's shrine? You are talking about the Elam Sar, aren't you? Yes, I am. Though most people call them the Godstones. To join a Godstone with your rune, you will need to touch the stone with it. And then what? <laughs> You'll see. Either way, we shouldn't waste any more time. This should be self-evident, but only tell people you fully trust of our cooperation. I will do the same. Now go. Head to Farland's Hope, find the Dwarf, and find Mulandir. All right. Goodbye then, I guess. Goodbye. Ah, one more thing, Tahar. Hmm? The two of us. We are more alike than you think. You are searching for something, for the answer to a question. And while I have found mine, you haven't found yours. What are you getting at? Well, you see, I'm not a fool. I know you haven't seen the light as I have, and I do not expect your loyalty. But as I said before, your blood, your lineage, it is somehow connected to all this. And even though I don't know how, maybe our cooperation can help you find the answer. But I've wasted enough of your time. Farewell, Tahar. Farewell, Iria of Finan Mir. We will meet again. All right, so that just happened. What now? Let's just get out of here. Okay. We should probably get our gear back first, though. Let's look around. Sure. Sounds like a plan. That way? Much better. Indeed. Odd that this place is unguarded, though. Don't jinx it. Wait. Interesting. Let me see. Um, changed your mind? Yeah. The rune. It's reacting to something. And I think I know what. Do you see that stone over there? That's a godstone. 
I think we should try to join the room with it, like the Harbinger suggested. You got it. That's interesting. This magic. Is it just me or does it feel, I don't know, different? That's one way to put it. Then I take it this isn't ordinary light magic. No, not at all. As I said, it's different from all magic I've seen so far. And that means something. Not sure how much I like the thought of me being linked to an ancient monument. Once we get out of here, I definitely want to take a closer look at that rune. That makes two of us. Either way, the rune did react to it. Assuming the Harbinger was right, if anything goes south, it's this stone we should be, well, resurrected at. <sighs> resurrected. I can't believe I just said that. You did. Let's not find out the hard way, shall we? Now, let's push on. Sure. Understood. Any ideas which way to take? You know this place, right? Not as well as I'd like to, but I'm pretty sure the one to the left leads up to the courtyard. We should prepare for heavy resistance, though. And the other one? I don't know, but it leads farther down the mountain. I remember hearing some guards talk about a hidden entrance into the prison. I'm guessing they used it to smuggle booze in here for the long shifts. Hmm. So either we risk fighting dozens of guards or getting lost in the caves. What do you think? Hey! Over here! Help us get out of here! Tiara's breath. Thank you, friend. I... They would have taken me to the gallows tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, pal. Yes. Tiara's breath. Thank you. Just stay quiet and follow us. Huh? Let's get out of here. Hmm. Understood. Caves. You were right. But... Hmm. That's not an ordinary lock. Looks like part of a mechanism to me. I didn't know you were an expert on locks. Well, there are some things you pick up when you're on the road for a while. Question is, how do we get this open? And why did they guard it with a mechanism in the first place? That did something, but... Yes, that did it. Indeed. And let's take a look at these caves, shall we? Ugh. You'll regret Ugh. this. You read my mind. Helen's reins. I hate these things. Seems this entrance wasn't used in a while after all. Sounds like a plan.
I'll take a look. Great. A storm. This might play into our hands, though. There'll be a lot less people to sneak or fight past that way. Hmm? Will do. Really? Is it just me, or do Nortander guards have a habit of leaving their stuff lying around unattended? Seems like it. Let's just be grateful. Let me see. Hold on. Do you see that? Yeah. Patrols. Hmm. I don't think they'd recognize us right away. Let's just not get too close and try to act normal. Are you serious? These sodding bastards have tormented us for months! What do you suggest we do? Charge right in and take on an entire army by ourselves? Be reasonable for heck's sake! Your vendetta can wait! Sodden! I've had enough of this! Tiara's breath. Someone's there! Uh-huh. Mm. Get ready! Blazes. You're now officially a deserter. Come on! Don't die on us now! But Blazes, what was that? Have you lost your bloody mind? What? Cause I'm not a goddamn sissy? No way on earth I'm letting these bastards get away with this. These were just normal guards, not the people who tortured you. All the same. If you want to run amok, go ahead. But you're not dragging us into this. Huh. <laughs> Heck do I care. Probably for the best. Yes. I'll take a look. That way? Got it. Whatever is necessary. Will do. Mm. Understood. Sure. So, what's the plan? Alarm! No, no, don't 
rely on me, will you? We need you. You got it. Mm. Will do. Sounds like a plan. All right, ah! by the... It's Tahar! Come on! Don't die on us now! Uh-huh. Understood. Got it. Sure. You look at that. What are you doing? Shouldn't we be headed to that white tower? Gray tower. Yeah. Just wanted to check something. Mm. Understood. Blasted! That's Garion and Armin. Meaning? Wolfguard. And no, don't even think about it. Those are elite soldiers from the unit I served in. Hmm. The way I see it, the way down into the cellar is right here. As long as we stay out of sight, we should be fine. All I'm saying is I don't like these dressed up idiots acting as if they're the ones making the laws now. What would you have the Lord Marshal do? The people believe in them. If whoever the people believed in would be in power, unicorns we run in this country now. What the commoners need is a strong hand to guide them. Not some lunatic babbling on about the return of the Allfather. How do you know it's just lunacy? I can't believe you just said that. The Crown isn't paying us for chatter. If you two want to bicker, get yourselves a chamber. Let me see. With over 7,000 soldiers stationed in Greykeep, the fortress's need for food and drink is immense, requiring equally immense space to store them. What few people know is that Greykeep's Undercroft is more than just a vault. It is also the entry point to an intricate network of hidden tunnels which lead all the way through the keep. Here we are. Now where's that secret sewer entrance the Harbinger was talking about? No idea. I've never been to this part of the keep. Okay. I... Wait. Do you hear that? Footsteps. Yeah. They noticed we're gone. We need to move quickly. Hmm? That way? Alistair. That's bad. Know him? Yeah. We... We need to reason. You got it. Sounds like a plan. Huh. Provisions. Maybe we should stock up before we go down that tunnel. Yeah. But quick. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be... Rotting in a cell. You better have a damn good explanation for this, Corporal.
It's not how it looks, Alistair. You don't know the whole story. What are you... Why are we even listening? We know what she did. Yes, you know what I did? I tried to save a bloody village full of innocents from being slaughtered. And now they want to kill me? Forget it. I'm not gonna give in like that. But he had to do it. If he hadn't purged that village, the bloodburn might have spread to Greyfell. See? That's where you're wrong. That's where you're all wrong. The bloodburn isn't contagious. It's a curse, and slaughtering these villagers did nothing. You hear me? Nothing. That night in the Kraken, didn't you tell me you still dream of that child? That you're still blaming yourself for not doing the right thing when you could have? That's what I did. And I'm not going to die for it. But how do you know? What? How do you know it's just a curse? Remember the Red Fever? It spread throughout half of Eel within weeks. Do you know how many people died? Hundreds of thousands. If the Bloodburn were as contagious as the General thinks it is, we would be standing in a sea of bones right now. Please, just think for a moment. I'm not the enemy. You? Stop it, Esben. Tahar's innocent. What? You heard me. You can pass, Tahar. Though I'm not sure what you're hoping to find down here. Neither are we. Thank you, Alistair. Thank you. I'm the one who should be thanking. Now go! We'll cover for you. Let's see. I can't believe you just did that. Well, I did. <laughs> Weapons, huh? Maybe some of the blades are still sharp. They will fall. Huh. Interesting. There. That must be the entrance the Harbinger was talking about. It should lead us through the mountain into the sewer system. All right. And what then? How far is this village, Farland's Hope? It's in Iskander. A four-day journey. Maybe a bit more. Mm. You do realize we don't have to do this, right? We could just make a run for it. I don't think so. Lacane would find us. And if what he says is true... Wait, you actually believe that? This vision stuff? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. But I think for now, we should stay on his good side. We can figure out the rest later. Yeah. I guess you're right. I wouldn't know where to go anyway. All right then, Corporal. Lead the way and I'll follow. Let me see. With Aelot Iskander executed for allying with your father during the Mage Wars, the Iskander lands have since fallen into anarchy. On your journey, you've met many travelers, sunken-cheeked figures who've told you stories about having lost their homes to bannerless soldiers and bandits. They have also told you something else. That a once deserted village has come back into bloom, offering refuge to those without shelter. Fallen's hope. All right, let's see. According to our map, Farland's Hope should be down this path, 
to the east. We need to be careful, though. From what I've heard, things have become pretty grim in Iskander after the Rebellion. You know, bandits, roaming monsters, orcs, the usual delights. I know. We'll be on our guard. Good. Then let's get going.